Hey, welcome back. You know, if you're in the market for a new DVD player, then you know how confusing shopping for one can be. you got DTS, VCD, RCA. What's all this mean? And what's best for you? Well, here to help us clear up some of the jargon is Call for Help's own AV geek, Mr. Roger Chang. Welcome, Roger. Welcome, Art. No problem. So what is DVD? Let's DVD. All right, it's one of these. It's a little disc shaped like it's actually the same form factor as a CD, but you can hold high high quality, high fidelity video on an MPEG-2 format. So really what it is is, uh, you know, it's like audio cassette goes to CD. Exactly, exactly. VHS tape to DVD. That's Correct. what we're talking about here. Now, when you go into a store, one of the things that you're inundated by is basically all these jargon words. For example, when you go into um, a store, the first thing is like, Ooh, it does component color. It does S video. What does it all mean? You, you, yeah, what, what do all those things? These are all the connections, the way you hook yeah, it up to your TV or receiver, right? For example, let's look at the back of this Samsung DVD player, and you'll notice all these little connectors in the back. Now, these are what they call RCA jacks. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two ways. There's three ways to connect video from a DVD into your TV. The most popular, most common, is through this yellow connector, which they call composite. This composite. Is, That's on most TVs. Yes, this is a base level video connector. It gives you, you know, everything you want. It's not that high in, in clarity compared with the other connections, but everyone has it. What's the next one up? Next one is what they call S video. S video. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's this little black portion of the of the DVD player. What it does is it splits the color and the uh, brightness signal of the video, allowing you to get a clearer and a sharper picture. The caveat is that you have a t have to have a TV with an S video connection in it in order to take advantage of it. If you don't have one, it doesn't do anything for you. Same thing goes with what they call color component connectors. Right here, the ones that kind of look green, red, and blue. And this basically separates the color and light even more into three channels instead of two, giving you even a sharper and higher fide fidelity color. Okay, so say I only have the RCA jacks in the back of my TV. I don't have S-Video or the color component. Do I, I mean, should I not buy a DVD player? Or am I still going to get really good quality? Yes, you are. All DVDs will usually come with those. And I would suggest you specifically look for ones with those. They uh -huh. just, it gives you a greater option if so you move up So in case you buy a new TV later, you'll be able to use that. Exactly. Um, well, that's just one part of it. Picture one, quality. What about audio? Audio. Another good thing. Audio. Most people, well, I got a left and a right on my stereo. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's good enough for most people. As you notice, also on the back of this DVD player, you got a left and a right, the red and white. Yeah. And that's fine. Now, if you've got a home theater set up with surround sound, you want to use what they call the digital optical connection. This one actually has both types. This is a SPDIF, SPDIF. this round connection, and this TOSLINK, this little square connector. Those are both digital Those audio. Those are both digital audio. They're just different form factors. Of course, again, you need a stereo that can, can uh, accommodate both of those signals. Uh, there's uh, people have a confusion about Dolby Digital, DTS, and THX. Mm -hmm. First, Dolby Digital and DTS are both surround sound tech audio technology. This is like the sound coming from five different yes, places. Yes, 5.1 uh, Dolby Digital. This is Dolby's version of surround sound. Okay. DTS, Digital Theater uh, Surround Sound, is a competitor or competing standard to that. It offers the same type of technology, offers the same types of sound, but it's just a different way and a different manufacturer that produces it. Uh, I would suggest you get a DVD player with both, so again, you have both options open. T -T THX is not an audio technology, but is a certification. Certification. This is what George Lucas, if George he puts Lucas, the THX stamp on it, it's a sample of approval. It's like me. USDA choice yeah. on, a, on a side of beef, same thing. It just gotcha. means it meets a certain uh, qual uh, limitation. Now, to use both DTS and Dolby Digital, of course, you need decoders to go with it. And most DVD players do not come with them, so you know, it doesn't matter if they, you find one. If you find one within it that's good at a good price, you know, you might want to consider getting it. But, you know, other than that, it's fine just the way it is. All right. Well, I know a lot of people are probably going to be shopping for a DVD player this holiday season as they did last year. Mm -hmm. And then we sort of blew through all these terms very quickly because we didn't have much time. But Roger has written a wonderful article on our website at techtv.com slash call for help, which is going to clear up all of these jargon terms to help you when you're shopping for your DVD player.